understanding with Mamouk? What sorcery did she use on them? Yeah, where's Zeralja? Yikes. He's All not here. All to say that as I've come to know our nation, I've seen the ways in which we thrive and the ways in which we still struggle. Some in Kozamalka must resort to banditry to survive. A faction of Yokhui still cling to dreams of conquest. Not everyone lives in peace and plenty. And there's still so much of Tuli Hyolol I don't know. Places I haven't seen and people I haven't met. That's why I hope to keep learning about and from you. That we might build a nation where everyone knows happiness. Because if there's one thing my journey has taught me, it's that your happiness is my happiness. Oh my god. Oh my god. The Dawn Servant doesn't need to be a single person. <laughs> Why is this person, going crazy? Does it? <laughs> the gospel choir came in. Oh, she- oh, she's real- oh! Oh dear. What is she doing? She's gonna share it with Koana, yeah. What? <laughs> oh my god. I thought she had a fear of heights. My father led Tuli Hyolao to prosperity by the resolve and reason of his two heads. But my one head can only get us so far. To further change our nation for the better, I'll need someone else. Has she told Someone him about with this? the knowledge and insight that I lack. They're the two heads so of that say? Be done serving with me, Kona. You gotta tell him beforehand. She didn't tell him beforehand. Oh my god. Please don't say no, that would be really embarrassing. Take reason, and I oh, take resolve. Yeah, oh, that's that's cute. <laughs> You'll have no objections from me, of course. But mine is not the approval you need. During my time abroad, I experienced the benefits of foreign technologies, some of which I introduced to our nation. Dirigibles now soar the sky in the south, while locomotives are oh, trains the land in, the in the north. Oh, they don't like that. Uh uh. They don't care. Who cares about trains? I was trains? convinced that by imitating foreign powers, we could assert our strength and thereby deter invasion. Yet despite my intentions, I failed to understand what I was too eager to cast aside. And the very people I wish to protect. My own journey has taught me that culture isn't a hindrance to progress, but a shared value that binds us, connecting lives and generations. With your blessing, 
I vow to help Tuli Yolal prosper in a way that honors the hopes and heritage of all Get the all speech ready peoples. to go, though. Let's get a lockdown. My esteemed predecessor would accept nothing less. For ultimately, I harbor the same wish as my sister. So we're all just not if here. I'm getting nervous. That He's gonna kill his dad. Heartfelt desire. I love that they clap like that. I need to know where Zoralja is, like, pronto. <laughs> Glad this didn't go to waste. She already had it built? That's a little ambitious. This is the lay of legacy, the part of the Tuli Hyola saga where you <laughs> What if he and I had said no? Oh my servant. god. What a disaster. Good heavens. Don't tell me this is what kept you so busy ahead of the ceremony. Just so you know, I didn't decide this on a whim. After reflecting on all we've been through, I realized it was the only answer. With this, both my brother and I have worthy successors. He would have been proud. Where's Sir Alger? Hmm. Of course you knew. Is he dead? Oh my god, his brother is d his other head is dead. It cannot be. The head of reason is no longer with us. That can happen? That's insane. That's awful. I didn't want to believe it. I'm sorry I never told you. We wanted the people to rest easy until our successor could be chosen. Planning the right was my brother's final duty. He was determined for it to serve the nation's best interests and labored nigh without cease. And then he died, forcing me to do the actual work. A sneaky bastard. But he did well. I have to give him that. The outcome speaks for itself. Though not quite to the original script, your new dawn servant rises. May they shine resplendent, and their rule bring light ever greater to Tuliolo. Oh, credits. Next cutscene? Oh, we're out of cutscenes. Oh.
Alright, that's the end. Nothing left after that, I think. Like... <laughs> Uh-oh. I need a Zeralja meanwhile, because I know he's gonna be around causing trouble. Changes in the Why air. is this guy so it's all beautiful? Because of our little firebrand. <laughs> Every Ilmer father's daughter, that one. I'll be watching where you steer this nation, lass. With what time I've got left. Yeah, how old are you, man? Why is nobody concerned with how old this dude is? He doesn't look like he's like, you know, a hundred years old. Uh oh. What's going on? Uh oh. Uh oh. Oh, 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 that's not good. Oh boy. <clears throat> Not trailer cast general, yeah, that's it. Kill that guy. So, like, are we leaving? Like, kind of wrapped it all up. Except for cryo stuff and, you know, what the Golden City actually is. Amati, oh! <laughs> Try to pronounce it correctly. Well, the text box has to stop calling it Wicklamont, too.
breaking our legs jumping off of every building here. I can pick up the other hunt thing. Eh, I don't really need to. Oh my god, my frame rate. This guy's deal. Ultra go. So I guess the expansion's over. Yeah. Nobody even got killed. Except and for that, that guy. Ram, yeah. yeah. It just mysteriously kind of... A rock fell on him. <laughs> a rock know. fell on him. It made a slashing <laughs> sound. Yeah. yeah rocks. Where's Zeralja? I'm getting nervous. He's killing that Keteram Like, guy, I think he obviously. killed Keteram for some reason. I don't know why he would kill that guy. Uh, because he knows stuff about the Golden City, probably. But, doesn't he want that? Doesn't he want to go there? Well... Oh my god. Your furler is just chilling in Tilliola. He's enormous. He's so big. He's so big. I come up to his knee. It's like they just dropped a raid boss in the middle of the city. <laughs> You said you want to do roulettes? Yeah. I would like to get some casting levels. Casting? Not casting. Tank, warrior. Okay. I was like, you don't play caster. Yeah. Um. Why did they kill the sexiest Rogadin of all time? He was too sexy. They think... had to kill him <laughs> immediately. <laughs> They'll kill like, you, Ken Ram. How? <laughs> how do they even make him that sexy? I don't know. Can he, you? He was not using a rogue in face. That's for sure. No, yeah. What if you go into like a rogue in character creator and suddenly? <laughs> it was like a Giga Chad. I don't know why they would. You know, put that much work into. They, I mean, they, because there was that random NPC you talked to too that had yeah, a new yeah, face yeah. model too. Like they're just giving kind of random, not very relevant characters. Yeah. Like custom stuff, yeah. and meanwhile, all of the models shall look the same outside yeah. of their clothes. And are all using the children model. Like the the ish guardian like children in the cold, you know. This guy's stupid hat, he looks so silly. The 
giant guy? Oh my god. It's it's truly a decision. Yeah. The head of reason being dead is crazy. This dude just had like a dead head on his next to him for three years. Yeah, that was also his brother that yeah. has been sort of a part of his actual body for his whole life. That's kind of... Yes. I, I was sitting there like, that's kind of like worse than all of the dead baby stuff. <laughs> we don't have to power scale tragedy. <laughs> but it's just sort of like, I don't know. Yeah. Um, I think it hits harder than that. Can join twins, like, can can they, can that happen in real life? Yeah. Yikes. like what even is this <laughs> that's awful i was playing on warrior and it was like i can't even can't do deal anything with this. i i literally had like one two four buttons i had one two and then my first hit of my aoe and then i had berserk which just boosted like three hits yikes Oh, sorry, let me, I should stop doing cutscenes. Give me a second. Oh, you're fine. I'm just trying to clean out some of my armory chest. Hmm, <laughs> yeah. I'm finding all of the random gear for shit Zether made us buy. <laughs> Yeah, I got rid of all that. So. Yeah, he said he's making food, so you know how he gets with soup. That guy and his soup. I'm good whenever. Okay. Oh, uh, Pokemon's still following me, though. Oh. <laughs> Let's see if I can get rid of her first. I, I liked how she was like, please, you can call me Llama T from now on. And they were like, okay, and then the, like, the text still calls her Wuklamot, and everyone is still calling her Wuklamot. Yeah. <laughs> They're gonna have a dramatic cutscene where you can. There's an option to yell out "Lama T." Oh yeah, would be the be the third time they've used that, would not it? They really shouldn't because you know it's sort of like well, you obviously can't t 
top of the Graha scene. Oh yeah, no, that scene's wonderful. I don't think I need this goat skin choker. I'm convinced, by the way, that if uh, Graha and Yastella don't show up like right now, they're not gonna be in the MSQ. Yeah. Estinian, by the way, still absent. Honestly, I really hope he just doesn't show up. Because oh, that is absolutely the funniest possible outcome. Seen everyone you wanted to see? I have. Sorry for keeping you all. Now, there's just one last matter. What Kona spoke to you about. I'm sure he made it abundantly clear. My retainers bring me so I'm much shit I don't serious. have any need for. Yeah. I want you to stay in Tulishola with me. Curse you, retainers. Serve me better. Mukumat, I cannot stay in Tulialal and be your like government cabinet. I, I yeah. I got I got more stuff to do. I'm not forcing you, of course. But should you wish it, you always have a place here. I I can understand why she would want that though, because we are like the strongest yeah. guy uh, ever. See, we are sort this of like you. the fix all your problems guy. A permit yeah. granting passage to Shaktural. Which, as I recall, you get to see. You gotta fix your own problems, Uklamat. Sure, like you could hardly resist, no? <sighs> I can't believe our journey is over already. You accepted me as a comrade and stood with me to the end. You have my eternal gratitude. Thank you. Well, I had better get going. I need to start learning all my official Dawn Servant duties. I'll be sure to share what my old man says about the Golden City too, once he tells me. Until then, feel free to pass the time as you like. For now, I will remain in Tural. There is someone I'd like to see before returning to Charlian. What about the rest of you? Alize and I also intend to remain a while longer. As educational as this experience has been thus far, we feel there are even more lessons to be had for Garlemalt. By hearing about the peace your father facilitated, and then seeing you reforge relations with Mamuk, we were reminded of a profound truth. That is, acceptance begins with understanding. All right. And like you demonstrated I'm throughout the right, no there are unexpected yet effective ways for two sides to understand each other. The question is, yeah, I sort of. It? And by seeing more, of I sort of just want to like leave it where I'm at right now for yeah, now. I guess. Yeah. Personally, I can hardly wait. I don't want to. I don't want to get too into all the so new stuff. May, like yeah. Oh, I suppose well. I can have Wuplamat accompany me later. By all means, your rooms are at your disposal for as long as you need them. And what of you? Thinking of touring Shaktural, perhaps? Of course. I'm gonna get You're hardly the type my Yaktel ether currents. <laughs> yeah, then you get perhaps we could travel together? The I'll person I intend ones. to meet is my mentor, so I'll be visiting my hometown in Shaktural. If you have no particular destination in mind, 
I'd be happy to guide you en route. Then it's farewell for now. Take care, all of you. When you're ready, come and meet me at the Shak Tural Skygate. I'm good whenever now. Alright, I'm ready. You said you want to do leveling? One sec. Okay. Hello. Hello. Tiger, get off my keyboard. Uh, I, I I've done leveling, but okay. I haven't done any others. Uh, do you um, want to do frontline or alliance I raid? Can do or? A, a frontline and maybe an alliance raid or uh, MSQ. Ooh. You I... don't have to join me for MSQ. MSQ. We're feeling we're feeling desperate, aren't we? Yeah, I want to get Warrior to like 96. You um, should just queue into Skydeep Cenote. Or Cenote. That's... well I can't right now, but... Oh, true. Yeah, I probably should. You could do Worker's Armor. Well, I can, I can do front lines. That's true, yeah. I'll do that first. I don't have to resort to MSQ. I mean, oh, yeah. do what you want, but personally, I would much rather do the new dungeons. You're, than... you're, you're, you're so right. Yeah. And with tank Q, you're, it's not going to be that much slower to do new dungeons, spin. Yeah. Though it is certainly easier to do MSQ roulette. You don't really have to pay attention. Yeah, but it's MSQ roulette. Yeah. Seal Rock. Ugh. Love me some Seal Rock. Good. Just 
Fall the Dark Knight. Dragon. Tiger, your claws are very sharp. Cave is the bad spawn, like the statistically bad spawn on Seal Rock, I think. There's a lot of RNG on this map. Yeah. Oh no! There's not even a thing over there! Oh! We fucked up. Everyone abort! Abort! Well, that'll hide well, I guess. Kind of, yeah, I guess we'll. I'm, Oh, my frame rate is shit. Not <laughs> really. Oh, it's so bad. Is Mail pushing onto our objectives over there on the left? Uh, no, I don't know, but the, the no Mail looks like they're pushing the flames who are what? just kind of getting. Look oh, at the map, no. look at the map, the flames are getting. Oh god, it's a massacre. I'm on the summoner. I got him. I'm on the, this fucking summoner is toast. This Reaper's toast. Ooh, we're blasting. Oh my goodness. <laughs> oh, yep, they are. Right. They're going for our point. Let's go back. Yeah, that's enough. Enough bullying. May oh my god, flames are getting crushed. Bro, the flames are not having a good day. That is rough. I feel for them, honestly. Oh, never mind. We kind of scared them off. We should have new nodes in a second. Anyway. Yeah. There, it looks like they're moving downwards slightly. All the way more D. Oh, okay. You got it. You got it, Mr. Dark Knight. Mid, All I'm right. assuming? Mid and probably east? Yeah. Looks like we're brawling with some people. Yeah, it's mid. Mid and east. I was right. And south. Oh, there's one south, too. Oh, I almost killed that dude. Oh, that so guy's that's very toast. Sad. Oh, I'm in too deep. Ooh, I gotta run. Private tactical support. Claw motif. Ma motif. Retribution of the Medine. All right, I killed that viper. Now we'll get this guy. I'm blasting him. He's toast. Alright. Um, looks like we're oh gonna God. end up brawling with great. red. What is going on? Yeah, let's try and fight red here and see if we can get this point in them. This Dragoon oh, way over committed. They tried to rescue him, but they were too late. Yeah. We are kind watch of out, split. Watch out, watch out. Oh, this is bad.
We are split, yeah, but we seem to be... Yeah, we they're, they're kind of steadily ganging on us, but we are we're taking kind of, them off. Like, yeah, coming in one by one, so it's okay. Ha! <laughs> that yeah. He was gonna probably ult, and he got stunned. Alright, keep an eye on the map. There's one south. Uh, that's... Mm. Well, there's oh, one right yeah, here. Definitely, yeah, get that one for sure. Um, yeah. Flames might try and push we that one. We are about to win the game. We are they, so it, far this ahead. Is a little bit... bad for what everyone What is going else. on? Alright, I guess... west? Yeah, east? go east, east for sure. East, yeah. We just kill, uh, flames and then, like, win the game, I think? Yeah. <laughs> This is the shortest seal rock match I've ever played. I'm fine with that. Yeah. <laughs> oh my god. White mage is toast. Shred them. We have battle height too, and like it's over. Yeah. <laughs> oh my <Man's> god! <laughs> We're you just queen. shredding them! Brutal. Alright, let's take this thing back. There we go. Let's just pick pick people off here, I think we win. Oh, red is pushing on our thing. Yeah. Alright, flames, enough playing. Alright, I am back. Welcome back. We're kind of dominating a we're, front line. We're absolutely demolishing Game of Frontlines. Cryo is brimming with pride. Alright, alright, folks. We got they two just, points we They made just in. did it! Alright. Yeah, they, they just, did! They just made her the non servant in the middle of the X pack. Yeah. <laughs> like. And it was the thing that I talked about. Yeah, Dragon but there's the two heads. Hello, monk. It's both of them. Both of them are the are the non servant now. That was probably the easiest frontline match I've ever played. <laughs> that was okay. kind of astounding. Okay, but. Yeah. But what's the deal? Okay, like, let me put. If you're going to nominate someone to be the president of a country, yeah. maybe you talk about it with them, like, yeah. beforehand. I couldn't believe she didn't tell him! I know, he literally came in here like, wow, I, she's she doesn't want me helping her, or whatever, and, oh I, my God. and I was no, like, no, dude. I understand, I understand it's for dramatic tension, but would have, it would have also been, like, dramatically tense if he'd been like, ooh, something spooky's dude, happening, and I'm not gonna tell you. I got secondhand embarrassment, like, I thought... Like, yeah. like, when people, like, propose in public, you know? Like, that's yeah, what it exactly. felt oh, like yeah, to yeah, me. Yeah, that's, that's, yeah. It's like, you don't ask someone to... To, to be your pres like, the vice president. Of a yeah. yeah. You know, in front of, like, your like, entire like, populace. She was, like, expecting him to, like, clutch his pearls, like, oh, You chose me? Well, it's like she was expecting... She just, like, knew she... I mean, she... I, I guess you could just say she knew that he would say yes, and she didn't really think about it beyond that. Right. Um, Alright, Raid, do you want to do it the dungeon or alliance raid? Uh... Oh, also, Rip, Rip Ketra Man. Yeah, the, yeah, the most beautiful Rogadin of all time. He, he literally simply... is the Chad meme. Yeah. That's what he was quite simply too beautiful to exist. Dulce um, says, do you guys want to help me do Zeromas? I apologize, Dulce, at the moment I do not. But no. ask me another time, eh, maybe. Um, I'm thinking dungeon. Okay. Uh, we're gonna do Skydeep Sinote again. So, well, if you have a job you want to level. Uh, is that the 91 dungeon? That's 95. I don't have machine stuff there yet, but I guess I could play it on Scholar if you want. 
It's up to you. I mean, if you don't want to, you don't have to. Well, I was going to maybe do a couple dungeons on Machinist just to get it up. Okay. Because at some well, point... What, what level's your Machinist? Uh, 92. So you'd have to I, I would, I would do the first dungeon again. I, I'm i pretty close okay, to let me just get yeah. here. Let me just get out of this kitchen. Um, yeah, I mean, I'll tank it. It'll give you enough EXP. Yeah. You know, it's, it's more than zero. I mean, it gives you a couple million. Yeah, it'll give you a couple million XP. Um, the... Oh, this is go to hell. Alright, man. <laughs> Sorry. What? Um... So, like, we really just did the entire story without mentioning Solution 9 once. Yeah, that's crazy, right? She, like, there's literally two times that it was mentioned, or that the, that the Northern Continent was even, like, brought up, was... Wuklamet like longingly looked over at it in her speech, and then she also introduced you at the beginning of the expansion. Yeah. <laughs> um. Hold on a second, my 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 beautiful beautiful willow. Willow. I'm actually down. I'm actually totally down for them to just have like two expansions, like two mini expansions instead of one big one. Like I get that there will be connections between them. Yeah. Right. Like Wuklamet is still going to be an important character. Or maybe she won't be. Maybe Wukul Matt will like take a backseat for the rest of the expansion. She likes to She does. She's really good at raiding, actually. I taught her to raid. She likes to jump on the keyboard and she parses. Farts. Farts, yeah, she farts sometimes. Oh, is she a farter? She's a farter, yeah. Alright, you can you can invite me if you want. Fancy feast. Fancy farts. Yeah, fancy farts. I am. I only have like a quarter of an XP bar of 92, so it's not gonna level me, but. Yeah. Well, that's. I have about a fifth of 95, so. My. My. You might get. Well. I'm almost 96 on Reaper. I am almost 96 on Scholar. Uh, alright, we're going to Ikui Katumu. Yeah, the first dungeon. Um. I got the new machinist abilities, but I haven't seen the animation yet. Double check in a checkmate. Oh yeah, 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 yeah. Oh, I like the new the new hypercharge uh, or the new uh, blazing shot. Yeah, yeah, yeah. You get it at like sixty or something. It's really funny though that that we've got an update. We've got an update to the to the like single target, but we don't. Ha we still are with auto crossbow. <laughs> yeah. Which is like 120 potency or something? It is uh, 140 to all enemies. Yeah, that's rough. Prince Dumpling. What is that well, gun? We also have. Oh, that's the Yokai gun? Watch gun. Wait, is it? Yeah. Oh, it's the Glam. I am. I'm actually using the Manderville. Yeah, he's I forgot the, I Glam. He's got the Yokai Watch gun on. Do I have my Yokai Watch on? No, I don't. <laughs> <laughs> I hope not. <laughs> Thank you. All right, guys, have this epic peloton. Wow! Wow! It'll make, it'll make wow. the boat go faster. <laughs> oh, I forgot I, was, I wasn't playing skull. I was trying to art of war there. <laughs> I actually have art of war and the machinist AOE on the same button though. I wonder if... Yeah. This blazing shot is 220 potency, so it's actually not even that much more than on a crossbow. Nah, I mean, it's like 100 potency, so... Alright, wait, I need to see... Oh! Wait, is that checkmate? Was it? Wait, let me... Do you have checkmate just, at that level? Let me do a checkmate. Well, that's checkmate! Oh. That, like, huge particle effect. What the heck? Yeah, I have checkmate. I was not expecting it to be that dramatic. I mean, ricochet is a pretty significant effect. I guess that's true. Fuck you, fish. I'm like totally not doing optimal because I just did the new animation. 
Is flamethrower like still kind of useless? Uh, 80 potency, 80 potency versus 100 and or versus 140. So it gets it's technically better. It's technically better at. Oh, but no, you get to use other crossbow way more often. Let's see. Uh, See, so can you do you only use it when auto crossbow is down? Scatter gun, scatter gun is 150 potency. So why don't you ever use it? But but flamethrower uses the uses different damage things. I I think there was some math that like flamethrower is better at like with like five enemies, but but only if every single tick hits. Yeah, Jackum says. Flamethrower has a higher, much higher tick rate of damage. Yeah, yeah, that's what I'm saying. So, like, the tick, the damage ticks kind of theoretically might make up for it. Okay, I am, like, astonished by how big the effect is for <laughs> checkmate. You should turn effects on to see what I'm talking about. But... Oh god, I don't know if I can do that. Yeah, yeah, that's fine. I'll, let me try. I'll do it. I'll do it for you. Remember when that guy was evil? Then, he, then we just learned he's he had a, a good guy. He's a good guy. Now he's automatically a good guy. To be fair, he did apologize. Yeah. He like clearly, like clearly, he is a good, a good guy. He's just not like redeemed himself like yet. Yeah. Uh, which is really on? funny because <laughs> we spent the entire first half of the expansion just complaining about how shit yeah. he was. <laughs> I mean, he's literally just like. Like, like, it was two-headed, like, like, racist. Yeah, yeah. It turns out he wasn't actually racist. He was just extremely insecure. Yeah. Oh, wait, I guess that's racist. <laughs> Party, show all effects. All right, there you go. All right, wait. Before before you pull Riyadh, let me just... Too late. There, that's what it looks like. Oh, my God. Yeah, it's huge. What the... And that one, that one is the other one. It's like, Here, it's enormous. <laughs> yeah, it's so big. <laughs> Alright, you can turn off effects if you want. I'm keeping on for this. Oh my god, dude! <laughs> you gotta <laughs> chill! You're literally, you're literally like, nuking it in orbit. It's like an orbital strike. <laughs> it's so good. For like 150 potency. Dude, alliance rates are gonna oh be so Oh my god. Torture. Oh my god, yeah, it's gonna be so good. I still, I still have not turned off effects. Really? For anything. So, if I try an alliance rates with this, and there's like three machinists. Don't, don't you think like the visual clarity is like bad with all those effects oh, on? Yes, but most of the time it doesn't matter. I can teach my brain to filter out all of the like particle effects. But if you're filtering just, them out, then why even have them just on? Look at the mechanic. Because I think it's fun. I think the game feels more lonely if you don't have the effects on. Yeah. I just like to I just like to see what my friends are doing. Are we kind of blasting this dude? Uh, are the blasters of all time. I mean, I am, like, over-leveled by one level and have, uh, raid gear. Or I guess I have all the new, I have, like, the probably high gear for this. Do you think those adds in rage if you don't kill them? There's no way that there's, like, a heart in rage, but maybe they explode or something. I don't know which effect is more distracting, the orbital strike or like the... Oh wait, I actually got it by it. I didn't know that it was persistent. I want to see the new effects for Queen, because I think Queen got some new things, didn't she? Uh... Did she? I don't think so. Yeah, wow, why am I... I know Machinist Capstone skill is like insanely cool. Really? Yeah. Oh, it, it was shown off in the trailer, right? Yeah. Flamethrower is a gain over Scattergun on three plus targets? Oh. But only if every single tick hits, right? That sucks. 
Here, if Briad holds him still, I will flamethrower for this nope. hole. I'll, I'll hold him still when I get all of them. I don't know, that's fine. <laughs> it's just so I'm just blinded every time you cast that. <laughs> well, this one is this one is double all right, check. I'm not moving them. This oh this God. one is double check. Oh, okay. It's crazy. All right, all right, all right. Play throw time. Oh wait, I use fire blaster back again. Play throw. Hell yeah. But like, I'm pretty sure it's only a gain if all all of the ads are alive for the entire, like, flamethrower window. Tulsi, did you queue in a different language? Oh my god. Yeah, that's why your queues were terrible then. <laughs> did the whole MSQ with trusts. Yikes. Ooh. They are so slow. I did one today and I was like, eeeh. Even when they were just in the solo duty, it's like, these guys are so bad at this game. Yeah. This music kind of jams. It does. It do. Also, look, this this is us, look. The Wait, colors it has don't my match hat! Yeah, look, the, look, look. yeah, it is us. us. Yeah, the colors it's don't match, us. but it is us. Okay, I'm glad. He has my fashionable hat. Wait, this actually... I'm gonna this actually, fucking hurry like, me. <laughs> this actually creates the possibility that they could do the thing that I've always wanted them to do, which is to have a villain be like us, but in a different like it's like Bro, using I'm dead. our What's wrong with you guys? You can't you can't do that. Ha, I'm the I'm the strongest one. Look at that. I wanted them I wanted them to do a villain where it's a different character model, like it's a different race, but they use all the exact same like uh, settings on the characters, like, select. Or on the character, oh, like, yeah. SS. So it, like, kind of looks like, 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 if they were to introduce, like, a relative of the Warrior of Light, right? That would be They funny. would, like, they would, like, do it by, uh... Oh, wait, why am I using that? would be so people funny. Would, people would design characters so that they could purposely, like, design the stupidest looking villain of all time. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. It's like it's like the equivalent of naming the rival in Pokemon yeah, something exactly. stupid. I'm like, oh, this is my rival butt fart. Dulce's leveling is all wow. Dulce, I'm uh yeah, I'm not. I'm like halfway dog. through MSQ, I think. Yeah. Something around there. I'm about to go to Shock Troll. It's the sleepy guy. I love this guy. He's awesome. Why the fuck did we wake him up just to kill him? Like, I mean, I bet if you walk, try to walk past him, he'll just wake up. I think so, sadly. Our conflict was inevitable. <laughs> because we could, like, go around the forest. Dankred caused this us to have to kill this beautiful creature. Yeah, it's true. This is all Dankred's fault, as should, are all things. We should yeah. kill that guy. <laughs> I'm okay. sad we did not get to. It is really funny that they like the whole the whole ads for this x pack were like oh the signs are gonna be fighting each other yeah <laughs> and then like literally it never like it didn't have it at all Becker and Orianje were straight up just like chilling Becker like waves to you yeah <laughs> like every time you see him he's just like hey uh, it's a really funny situation. Oh, you turned in, Riyadh! Well, I don't give a fuck about your position. I'll I don't care if top, you need buddy. to dodge safe spots. I didn't realize that hyper that hyper charge change happened. Look yeah. at that, Komi. I'm killing you, Komi. No. It's pretty cool that they are. It's. I mean, it's nice quality of life to keep people from overcapping. Yeah, they did the same thing on Reaper. Though I bet it, he, I bet diehards will complain that they made the job too easy because now you don't have to care about overcapping. Well, it actually does create a problem for me. Uh, 
in top. Um, because what I was doing before on top is I'd hit Plentiful Harvest to give myself 50 gauge uh, right before the downtime in phase 2. Um, uh... And now I can't do that, because if I hit Plentiful Harvest, I, I if I don't use my burst, I don't the buff falls off. Right. I want to mitigate this. So kill. I can't really um, in, um, do that anymore. It, in um, actually, this dungeon might level me. I didn't realize. I gave two million XP. Yeah. <laughs> um, I was gonna say yeah. I mm, I don't think it'll cause problems for the machinist because because most of the time if you use. Uh, barrel stabilizer, you like use hypercharge in like the next GCD. I see. Yeah. Is usually how the rotation goes. Like you're not just like hitting random. You're not like just hitting barrel stabilizer and then not immediately going to hypercharge very. At least not very often. Because it usually comes because it comes up at your burst and during your burst you're using, you know, you're using hypercharge. Right, yeah. It has to be. It has to be a DPS game to, to use uh, Bio Blaster first before you Flamethrower, though. I would think. Because then the dot ticks down while you're ticking them with, with Flamethrower. Right? I don't have my buff up. I'm the worst reaper of all time. You know, I was I was a little weirded out that they like went with really hard in the chest direction. I like, oh wait, but has always been like chess, hasn't it? Yeah, they used to have a bishop turret. Really? Yeah, and then they got rid of that. So yeah, but now it's just rook and queen, and then I didn't realize it was all chess references all the way down. Some of the traits have like chess names. Sounds like Mario Party music. It does. <laughs> yeah. Oh, that one's just hitting so loud. It's okay. I don't need to grab it too urgently. I mean, uh, my Iger list doesn't say I have any. Yeah, I, I mean, it, it just sort of pulled off of you. Anyways. All right. Here comes the flamethrower. Oh wait, you moved away. <laughs> I, I was trying to group them better. I could sense you were gonna try and do something and I was like, nah, nah, nah. I don't know what the flamethrower hit, but the box even looks like. Maybe we were all in it. I need the card from this one. Wait, there's a card? Yep. Maybe we'll get the minion drop. Maybe we'll be able to get it. I don't know what it is. Oh, I hope it's the sleepy guy. Oh, yeah. Oh, I wait, hope... wait, wait. <gasps> wait, I hope it is the sleepy guy. Oh, the sleeping guy is so cute. If if there's a small one and he runs like Gubu Sproutling... Bro, it's basically like Gubu 2. That would be Gubu 2. Yeah. That would be It's Gubu because he grows stuff. Yeah, it's Gubu. I hope if it's actually the minion, it has a description that references Code Red. Hmm. Oh, my fucking gap closer. Oh, no. I am so bad at this game. Oh, I am really bad at this game. new like notifications i'm not fully sure you can probably move them around on the hud screen huh? maybe i don't know i'm trying um i think they're all right I, 
I think they probably are going to use the mid and hard Every content, and then I'll probably form an opinion about them. If they use them in Savage, I think I'll be annoyed. Well, probably if you will. can move, I mean, they. If you... This kind of thing has existed before. It just didn't have like a, like a graphic pop up. It was just text yeah. that would appear and say like the boss is doing something. Yeah. Well, often it would be stylized to like the Final Fantasy game that the boss is from. Right. Yeah, yeah. Well, like I how just saved your life, I think. I second wind it. Oh. But... I'm gonna take credit for it anyways. Yeah, like like how um, Ruby Weapon has uh, the FF the FF7 text boxes. Yeah. yeah, yeah. It even has its own sound. Yeah. I mean, I feel like it's just replacing the, um, the, like, regular, the, like, plain looking text boxes, right? Mm -hmm. That did not end. Well, it looks like it did, buddy. Apollyon disagrees. Yeah. Get this mechanic. I don't even care. This mechanic kind of blows. Who cares? Look at the card. I am now. I am now, like four fifths of the way to ninety three. I am. Um... All right, minion time. No. 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 Chest trap. Oh, what's this? Man. The viper oh. weapon again. Oh, it's slutty. It's a uh, Pagalthon stuff. I don't think it is. I think it's different. That is. I mean, it, it reminds it, me of it for sure. That is a bear midriff. Yeah, it, it it goes all the way down to your underwear. Like you can see the underwear. Yep, it's like the two B. Yeah. Yeah, you can literally see your underwear underneath it. It's not dyeable though, which is front. which is a little sad. I don't know that I. Why is it? Why is it a turtleneck? <laughs> it's like a turtleneck. It's got. You have like this belt on your bear like bear skin. Like bare armpit, just like a leather belt. Yeah. Holding everything together. <laughs> Ooh, I got the car. What a weird look. It's like, yeah, we're gonna be like basically naked, except like your neck must be covered. <laughs> I don't fucking show your neck, slut. I chose the wrong way to get to this ether car. Now I have to walk around this thing. I have flying in all of the zones now. Wow. This is. I just seen this one ether car. <laughs> I don't have flying in the Octel yet. I'm about to. I did it. I did the I was waiting for you guys to catch up. <laughs> so far, I mean, I'm fine. I'm legit fine with them, like, with Wook Lumet just, like, fading a little more into the background because her character arc is basically done. Yeah, basically. So, like, it's fine with me. Like, make Wook Lumet, like, be like a background character for the rest of the, for the, rest of the X Pack while, like, other things happen. Yeah, I mean, like, Aaronville has done pretty much nothing. Well, he's helped out a lot in, like, hurting beasts around and all I this. mean, yeah, but he's not really... Character-wise, he's, yeah. he's just sort of there. I, I think this is going to be his There's been a lot part. of... Yeah, him and Cryo. Yeah. yeah, there's been a lot of, like, suggestion about what's going on, and they, they hard confirmed that Aaronville's mom is the... Or mentor is the... Yeah. Is the lady that... Um, fought Valley Garmonda and all that. Yeah. What are you still streaming? Am I spoiling the chat? Oh, am I? I think I'm, everyone else that is ahead of me at this point. Okay. Um. Okay, we can do alliance well, anyway. raids or no? Uh, I'm fine with doing alliances. Yeah. Um, I might go on a different job here, because I do need to level something besides Reaper, and Reaper's now caught up with my MSQ job. Uh... I guess I'll level... Should I do Summoner or Red Mage? Red Mage. Oh, well, Summoner would give you give me scholar. scholar as well. Yeah. 
But we've learned that red mages can also be healers, so... That's true! Vermetica too, did you see that? She, I was able to cast that in the trust. That's awesome! Yeah. Um, she cast, like, white mage medica too. She cast Vermetica too. <laughs> Why are they, they going to give that to Red Mage? <laughs> that would be awesome! I would love if they gave that to Red Mage. <laughs> then it would literally just be the, like... You would take... What you, what, no, what would happen is you would take, like, three Red Mages into any, like, parse party where the healer was parsing. Yeah. Yeah, the Red Mages would chat for the healers. <sighs> yeah, okay, so I... I think I'll pro even though I pr much prefer playing Red Mage, I think I'll probably level Summoner first. Just so Have I can- Have they changed Red Mage very much? Uh, not a whole lot. It got a couple things, but not I not actually much. rarely tank alliance raids because the, the queues for tank on alliance raids are normally shit. Yeah, they, they are. So I have like no experience taking a lot of them. You guys ready? Uh, tanks yeah. are in need right now, actually, for Lion's Raid. Yeah. Oh. For the first time ever, for those the first words time appear ever. across the screen. It's I'll save all you. all tanks in need right now. Yeah, surely, surely tanks are, like, the most valuable. I feel like that's true for, like, when every expect drops, right? Uh, maybe except for Shadowbringers? Yeah, I mean, I think if... if a tank is oh, right, like because... jobs then. Yeah. Okay, sure, but like it was the same story in Endwalker where like tank was like by far the best. Job. Yeah, oh, yeah, but also especially... there was a new healer yeah. then too, so Yeah, yeah. I'm I'm very happy with Pectomancer. I like. I genuinely think it's probably going to become one of my most played jobs in this expansion. Uh, um, I haven't. You keep, you keep yelling about the cast times, though. Like I, I love the cast times. I mean, they're yeah, they make you think. Yeah, that's that's part of the skill of it. I, I yell about them because it 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 wrinkles my brain. I'm like, oh, I need to plan this, you know. How yeah. much flexibility is there in the rotation? There's a decent amount. You can stockpile movement with your holy and white if you if you don't cast them. Mm. Um, you can hold on to them and save them for when you need to move around, which is kind of cool. Um, you also is there a teleport? You, there's a little dash. It's like on Avant, and then it gives you sprint oh, right. for five seconds. Oh. Um, but so it's the it's the oh shit I misjudged where I am. Yeah, so. but it's on a twenty second cooldown, so it's you can use it a lot. Yeah, 20 seconds is really, it's really nice for that. Yeah, that's a lot of mobility. Yeah, um, and then there's a. Uh... So you, you have to. In... Can you become inkling and like? Turn into <laughs> it, a that's and what then, it like, looks like. That's what it looks like. Really? Uh, yeah, the dash. That's what it looks like. Well, you know, Splatoon is giant in Japan, so. Yeah. Um, they have so they have to. Right, their two minute raid buff, right? Um, yeah. They can't use it. Unless they have cast um, their starry motif, like their scenic motif, within the last two minutes, right? So you okay. have to pick a time in 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 those two minutes where you won't do any damage to prep your raid buff so that it'll be ready when the two minutes come up. And I assume it's definitely a game. Yes, you absolutely want to be using your motifs to do yeah. a lot of damage. Well, okay, yeah. Yeah, I haven't really heard a lot of things about Viper. Um, yeah, I tried I it heard. out. I wasn't a huge fan. Maybe it'll grow on me. Um, According to Reddit, it's like... Oh. All right. According to... You guys ready for the next half hour? Yeah. I mean, any near raid would be... Um, I wish we'd gotten copied factories so I could... Yeah. <laughs> you know. I don't. I don't, so because I don't want to do Mark's... I am so sick of Copy Factory. I need yeah. the casting top. I'll be right. You still don't. Have I it. still don't have it, man. I've this'll, done it like four be the or five times recently. I do did it today, because yeah. otherwise, after this, I'll be fucking tired. <laughs> I'm already tired, but you know. Um, what was Reddit saying about Viper? 
Yes, Reddit is basically saying that it is mostly what it seems to be, which is click on the click buttons, on the buttons light to light up. That was my impression as well. Um, I, I'm i sure there is optimization, but oh, yeah. um, my immediate impression was like, I don't feel like I'm making a whole lot of choices. And that's probably well, coming from then, a perception of someone who doesn't really understand and, it. Well, and it has and it has positionals. Yes, it All does right. have positionals. Um, but I'm kind of curious what the um, what the skill ceiling looks like on that. I didn't understand what I was doing, but I was clicking the buttons that lit up, and I was doing all right. Oh, what is that red mage buff? Magic sword play. That must be from like the raid buff or something. Oh, this is don't be in Let's front, see if I right? can remember what yeah. these fucking <laughs> mechanics are. Oh, I'm 80 summoner and oh. <laughs> I can't believe they left this job like this. I love Machinist because it doesn't get any worse when you go down levels. Summoner is like only like okay at like 86. Level? Truly, it's there. It's crazy how some jobs like scale down completely fine at like 60 or 70, and like the rest are like this is trash. Yeah. AD machinist is oh, plays no. plays very similar uh -oh. to 90 machinist. I mean, I'll, don't get me wrong, I don't think Summoner's all that fun at max level, but, um, I don't, I don't hate it. I don't hate Summoner. It's just, the reason I don't play it is because it's, it, it, I don't have to, um, wait, was, go ahead. I don't feel like I'm making a lot of, like, choices. I'm not really right. getting to, there's not enough complexity in its mechanics to keep me engaged during combat. See, for me, with Machines, it's like, yeah, I feel like I'm not making a lot of choices, but that's a good thing because I will fail mechanics if I have to think. <laughs> yeah, oh. Yeah, that's a big one. Oh. There are people who are okay, not. Okay, underestimated that. Yeah, it's a huge. Uh... Okay, and then you have to LOS the mechanic. I haven't been in this right in a long time. Oh no, you have to you have to line up for the knockback. Yeah, yeah. That's right, that's right, that's right. Oh look at the bodies hitting the floor. I'm so dead. I'm so dead. There there are some people who are extremely dead. People just forgot how to do this. Oh, this is a shit fest. This is awesome. I'm up. At least we didn't get Seeker's Tower. Yeah, I think they fixed it. I heard they fixed it. Oh, they fixed it. But they I don't, there wasn't to, a patch, so I don't know. They didn't have to bring it down to fix it. Yeah. I mean, sometimes you can do that with live code. Maybe they could. Maybe they had a way of just of like just deploying the circus tower code and nothing else. I don't know. Or I mean, the you know the ice code. Yeah. Yeah. I still gotta play Replicant. I still gotta play Automata. It's a good game. I think Automata is very good. If you I like... think Replicant is okay. <laughs> That's the a... what it sounded like in your impression. Was. There's a concept that I like to talk about when talking about game design, which is thematic completeness. Right? Yeah. Like, the idea that every single aspect of the game is reinforcing the central themes. Mm -hmm. And, uh, Automata is definitely a game that is very thematically complete. Yeah. Maybe to its detriment. Yeah, it's almost, <laughs> too, it's almost too much. Yeah. Yeah, Replicant, I really liked it until I had to play the exact same game two more times. Yeah. And I was like, 
Why? Uh, that happens in Automata, but I don't think it's as much as it is in Replica. Yeah, I think I only have uh, Just hits you over the head. Hits you over the head with the fact that your decisions do not matter. Yeah. Why is everyone moving? Oh, I don't know. I didn't see that one. Because he's, he's doing his thing at the same time. Oh, oh, yeah. Guys. Oh, right. There's mechanics overlapping. Wow. Anyways. You guys forgot that the straight has mechanics. Yes. Yeah. But yeah, no, Nero Tomata... It's a good thing we didn't get puppets Where are the raid buffs? Has there been an Embolden? I don't know. I haven't noticed. I don't know. Maybe... Did they remove Embolden? No. Well, maybe they, uh... Replaced it with a different name. <laughs> it's it's God, now called this raid boss buff. Has way too much health. It does a lot of health. I mean that's that's the new raids. Ugh. Well, we also had like 18 billion people to die, yeah. so I don't think that's healthy. This is why I hate the new raids, by the way, because they everything just has too much they health. They just have too much health. Yeah. Like fucking marks. That guy that takes way too long. And I mean like the mechanics like are fine. Like I like I like the mechanics. I do think the final boss of the new raids has is kinda of disappointing. Like really? I don't think the mechanics oh, I love that one. I love I love that one. I don't think the mechanics are complex enough. It's so funny though, that when all the red girls okay, get the off train, the train. But the trains are, I will I will admit, the trains are funny, but they're also, like, literally just an orange, like, AoE. Like, there's yes, nothing... Yes, but they're so funny. But and they're comedy literally goes just... over anything for me. I mean, I, I get... I get that, but, like, I don't know. And the I, building I... mechanic where you get launched into the sky? That's yes, so funny. Yes. I just thought that there would... Like, this boss makes you think way more than the final boss. Eh, I guess. You guys are thinking right now? Well, actually, the second boss is the one where literally no the one knows how boss, to do it. The yeah. second boss is when people yell at the tanks because someone is... You, you need two tanks I'm to know what they're doing. Oh, never mind. And then an alliance relay, raid roulette, you're lucky to get one. Chromatic Fantasy? That's a cool looking limit break. Uh oh. Nice. This guy... That guy isn't from near, by the way. He's from Replicant, right? I don't know. Any he is, yeah. Cool. Yeah, he's a boss in Replicant. These are the... Um... And these ones are also from Replicant. They just put, yeah. like, two replicant bosses in here for some reason. I think... They just... I, I mean, I then, they, then they went fucking Drakengard after that, so... This, this like, environment is, like, half of Niratavada. I actually don't have any problem with the hacking, I'm not gonna lie. Yeah. Though they're actually... Okay, wait, I don't have a problem with the hacking. I do have a problem with the PC port, because originally... I'm not sure if they fixed this. In the... In the PC port of Nier Automata, if you had V-Sync on, the hacking was like 25% slower. It was what? not intentional. Yeah. That's wild. But like, it literally, I think, I don't know the exact thing, but like, the literal like frame rate of the hacking was lower if you had V-Sync on, and it made yeah. some of the hacking way harder than it was supposed to be. Um, why am I dead? Like, why are you? Oh, I hit the oh, wrong you hit one. the shield. Dude, you were yeah. hitting the guy. I forgot. No, this isn't the boss I was thinking of. It's the, it's the third boss. It's like, what is actually happening? Song of the Ancients. No, but yeah, yeah. So, like, the PC port of Nier Automata is legitimately, like, one of the most unfinished, like, products that I still consider to be a good game. Yeah, I, I used it with a mod the whole time, so I don't I don't actually know yeah. how... I, didn't they patch it, like, recently? They did. They patched some of the bugs. Um, I think, alright, I know the whole, like, Devil of Hopeless storyline is very sad and all, 
but I think the idea of programming two robots exclusively to feel guilt is almost funny for how, like, sad it is. I think Nier is supposed to be a little bit funny, right? Yeah. Like, that's part of the game, in my opinion, is that, like, it's weirdly emotional, but also kind of silly, like, in its weirdness. Yeah. We made these robots to feel bad about themselves because we thought it would, like, make us feel better. Yeah, I, I, I really like the, the themes of Nier, but that's yeah. probably because I'm a big... I like existentialism in general, so... Yeah. Nope, I wanted it to go over here. Storyline with um, Pascal is like, ugh. oh yeah. Did you watch the anime? No, I did not either. I heard it's like different. I it would not surprise me if it has like some weird lore that like becomes relevant. Yeah. Are we going right in the middle here? Am I crazy? Ah uh, yes, you you are not crazy. Oh, oh no, it's... I am crazy. Wait, what? Oh, oh, no. oh, 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 I forgot how that works. <laughs> yeah, no, I, I had no clue. A lot of people did not have a clue. Don't worry. Well, I'm expecting him to do like a line in front of him, but he doesn't. Alright, here's the big dodge everything. God. <laughs> Wait, how did so many people die? It's the they proximity. No, what? The proximity killed him, man. Wow. Uh oh, they're dead. Well, they only move so fast. Alliance A is not looking good. Oh, they'll get up. Oh wait, no, they're not the healers. They don't uh, have healers up. Yeah, maybe maybe the bosses aren't too tanky. Maybe everyone just sucks. I'm gonna heal their or erase their healer. Oh, you're playing Red Mage, yeah. I'm playing Scott, uh, Summoner. Oh, it's Summoner. Yeah. I have the stack of Solel. Oh, I just used my burst. No, oh, that's, that's what they do. No. I vomit. Oh, oh no. Oh. People are dead as hell. Oh man, this is I a... I didn't know how big it was. I wasted my entire Bahamut. Man. There's still only a 35 yeah. and 34. Please. Don't they enrage? Yeah, this takes far longer than they... Do they enrage? Don't they enrage after the first one dies? Yeah, after one dies, I think. But it's just like a soft and weird thing. A healers are still dead as fuck. Well, I, I raised them! Well, no, they... no, the scholars, the scholars have. I'll get the white mage. Oh shit. This better level me. They did. That's they did I make feel. it so that the harder alliance raids give them more XP. They should level me for how hard I'm carrying DPS. <laughs> yeah. An individual contribution to give you more EXP. That'd be so toxic. Yeah, it would. Uh, 
Imagine if people were using like the amount of EXP they got as like a DPS meter. <laughs> These guys oh, no, go untargetable pretty... so much. And like, there's... Come on, man. And there's two of them, so like, they... And they're tanky as hell. So it's like just a trifecta of... Oh my like, god. Please, that proximity really does a lot of damage. Yeah, no, remember, um... Stormblood? Or Shadowbringer's proximities, like, were like that. Like... Well, I guess Endwalker's proximities in the like that as well, so. dead again! Oh, rip. They a healer's even... dead. A healer's dead. This poor... Okay, now they're double raid widening, which makes me think they're gonna start repeating mechanics completely. Can I cast Robby these guys? Oh, I can. Wait, 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 I'm not doing it, I'm not doing it. Oh, wait, no, okay, we're good. You're getting the safe spot. The safe spot is where? In, 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 in. Yes, we're gonna go right here. I'm gonna cast Robby. They're gonna move. Oh, they swapped places. Okay, no, we're good. They hit him. I can't fight. 108,000 of both targets. Oh, this is Gretel's about to die. The longest to go. encounter about... of my life. <laughs> this is a long <laughs> encounter. It's because you can only get one of them. DSR felt longer than this. Yeah. Well, I'm tanking, so. No, we've been in here. We have literally been here for like five minutes. Oh my god. Oh, it's been almost 20 minutes in total, right? Oh, maybe we've been in here for like 10 minutes. I forgot you get to leave. To no. Really I have work oh, tomorrow. I'm on PTO. Wow, fancy. Lamentation. Alright, no, All right, a whopping 377,000 experience. Yeah, but you get all the actual XP at the end once you uh, do the roulette. I know a lot of people thought that the hacking was like the weakest part of the game, though. Well, it's kind of, you know, when you play 2B and like, all right, now play a guy who has like half the move set, and instead he plays a little mini game. It's yeah, like, but see, oh. I always thought, I always thought that 2B was like kind of boring. Yeah. Like I never loved, I never loved her combat. So I thought, I thought it was really, it was very much like a power fantasy of like, oh, I can just like. I can just like make enemies explode and not have to care about dodging their attacks. Yeah, oh, that's cool. Yeah. And that 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 high never really fell for me. But that said, I was I also never did much optional content in here. I did everything. I did I did like the important side quests that like. I did like the really <laughs> important side quests. I did not do I did not do any of the like fetch fetch quest type side quests. I did. I, I like 100% of the game. Except for did like you, the enemy logs get, that were stupid. Did you get every single ending from A to Z? Yes, I did. Did you get the. Or I, I assume you fought the secret bosses? Yes. Right? Did you do that one? I did not do that one because I. I don't know why. There was something that. I forget what it was, but there was something that was preventing me from like playing the game for some reason. You had to um, get all the weapons and upgrade them all the way to fight him. That's it. Yeah. And he's not even canon, right? Um, I think he is. Oh, okay. He 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 talks about the events of Replicant, so right. I, I think he's canon. No, I know he as a character he's canon, but I don't know if his boss fight is canon. I don't know. Oh, yeah, I don't think it is, because he gives you an alternate ending from the actual main endings of the game. Right, right. Wait. Or he I can. Need... He can. If you, right. if you fail his boss fight, they can give you a different ending. Though, it would not surprise me if Yoko Taro was like, well, actually... 
Actually, uh, the next near installment will take place after that ending. Yeah, yeah. These guys are impossible to cleave. They're like too far apart. Just to single target all of them individually. Yeah. No uh, yeah, and it's just sort of like a miserable experience. Because <laughs> you'll be like, I'm hitting this guy, and he's like, bye. Look how yeah, small I their can't. hitboxes are. Like, I love Nier Automata, and I find these raids insufferable. <laughs> I, I like the Nier raids, I think they're good. I, I like the mechanics on some of the bosses. I think overall, everything could use like 10% less health. Yeah. Um, so I do think this is just a low DPS group. I this group sucks ass. <laughs> I I'll well, just no. say it. I appreciate well, and everyone's dying to mechanics. Yeah, I appreciate. Which is uh, gonna be really bad for this next boss. Oh, oh yeah. But this one also doesn't have that much health compared to the. Yeah, uh, that ones, is. I don't think it's a little more challenging than the other ones. Yeah, the mechanics are the mechanics are probably the people hardest. People are literally getting lost in this. <laughs> <laughs> look at look I mean, that's people are... this is this is literally like what Mirror Automata looks like, by the way. <laughs> like. Mm. At once you reach a certain point. Yes, yes. But like, there is a section where you're like basically going through a maze of this. I heard pots can be double weave now. What? Yeah. Probably not. Wait, oh my god, they can. Yeah, I just tried it. You can double wait, weave wait, wait. them. They, they fixed pots? They did, yeah, you can double weave them. Look, try it. What the heck? I don't have I don't have any pots on my pop bar right now, but Okay, I have the cube. I I don't remember the games this fight any more than anyone any of you do. So you have to you can break those walls with the Right, and then you and then So you we wanna hide behind the same color wall, I think. Right. But she doesn't move. I can try, but you know. Okay, so I need to break should I break the black? Walls? Yeah, yeah, yeah. Uh, oh, I got. Did you I got overlap killed. with someone? I'm not. Sure. I, no, because no one else died. I think I got killed by the wall. Oh, did it? Did it spawn on top of you or something? No, no. The wall. I think the overlapping with the wall killed me. Oh. It said shock black and then killed me. I don't know. Because I had the black debuff and I overlapped the black wall. Oh, I should have overlapped the white wall probably, huh? Yeah. Yeah. Oh, yeah, because you're trying to break the walls. Yeah, yeah, I'm not trying to bounce off of it. Everyone went in the barrier <laughs> But they didn't. Wow, none of them died. Yeah, maybe. I don't know. Yeah, I was maybe some of the. Hands. Maybe some of the debuffs want you to touch the walls, and some of the debuffs. Didn't. Wait. There's no, there's no time zones in our world, are there? But in Eorzea? In oh, it's so loud! Oh my god! In Etheris, in Etheris, are there time zones? Not that they've ever said. Well, no, because if if you like teleport, in Eorzea time. Are you saying Heidelin is flat? <laughs> I am saying my. My crazy theories about uh, the cosmology of this world being different from like, or, like the normal planetary model. Oh, that guy did not mitigate it. Oh <laughs> Might be true. Yeah. Okay, no, I'm thinking about it. But like, but like, if it's nighttime in Arizona, it's also nighttime in Tulal and nighttime in the in the east, right? Yeah. Which means there are no time zones. Yeah, it's the same time everywhere. Which means somehow, even though it's a planet. No, no. Which flat. means that, which means that the the planet is flat. But you see it from the moon, and it is not flat. 
Okay, well, what it's if actually it, an what, optical illusion. What if it's... What if it's, it's optical uh, illusion. What if it's, uh... This part is cute. I, I really like that they did this. Yes, it is very cute. So yeah, this is what... This is what, like, half of their automata looks like. We're supposed to be... We're supposed to be black. I don't fucking remember. Yeah. To avoid damage, you have to be the same color. And to deal damage, you have to be opposite color. Ow. I'm doing it wrong as fuck. Easy. I a is gonna fail. Oh my god. A is... What's happening in Alliance A? <laughs> <laughs> they actually, they actually did fail. Oh my god. Oh no. You guys said it and it became true. What happened in Alliance A? Ow. Oh no. They don't, they must have just all be new, right? Like they just, That's none of them have played this raid before. Dude, this like behind the back shot for the new hypercharge is very classy. It's, I gotta see that then, that sounds cool. They, I, I will say this, they understand exactly what the like appeal of machinists is. Oh, I'm gonna go on the wall. Ah! Oh, oh god, we all walled. I forgot it was a force march with the gamut. Uh. The either takes do not have their stance on. Oh no. Yeah, <laughs> DPS is sinking. So I gotta have quick. Why are I Alliance gotta fix it. tanks like this? They're just too afraid, man. Just tank the boss! I get it. I'll save you, Zalian Elber. When I was leveling tank and I had tanks literally dying to swaps in front of me, I was too afraid to take it from them. <laughs> That only happens in Alexander. Um, in Brute Justice, there's this part where you're supposed to swap, and if you don't, the tank just dies. Oh, and, yeah, uh, yeah. Yeah, okay, yeah. we're gonna die. Yeah. No, like, in... Yeah, so, like, I would be too afraid to take it in Brute Justice, and it would just kill everyone. These people are all trying to jump in the middle! In the I'm trying to cross stop, through the stop. middle of the room. Don't do that. Oh, this is the LOS for that. Our healers are dead. Yeah, I'll get them. We got one resume. What about you? Oh, God. Oof. God, I use shake. We're so close. Just kill it. Before we all wipe. Your little alliance is pointless. That's, that's funny. Yeah. I mean, she's not wrong. She's not wrong. Yeah, especially that one with A. In front of <laughs> She's talking to Alliance A. <laughs> a specifically. Okay, here's the Force March. Wait, what's the telegraph for the Force March? It's the oh, way her go... the icon thing is on her hand. This little arrow. Yeah, we're, all, we're all going to the left. Oh, I didn't... I didn't move? Okay. Oh. I think it. she's dragging the... Oh, she's nice. force marching the. She's force marching the clown. Oh, she moved the clown. Legitimately, though, the mechanics of this particular fight are really good. Uh, yeah, I, I like, like them it. a lot. It's a cool way of interpreting the like uh, black-white mechanics in the automata. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Alright, now I she's... I can't fucking see. Now she is... <laughs> what are all these Picto LBs going off? Oh god. So oh well, no! I didn't realize she was trying to store her. Yeah. This has been a really fun weekend. Yeah. 
Even if I am fighting a near boss. <laughs> Sometimes it's nice to be a DPS so I don't have to deal with rains. All this new monster. Ugh. So tired. We're almost there, buddy. Ugh. The last boss takes a while, but it's easy at least. What do these boots look like? Black. Eh, they're okay. Obsolete android. I've Is disengaged from the network. Yeah, now we're back in the real world. Oh no, actually we're back in <laughs> Tokyo. I never actually did like the lore part of this. Were yeah, I didn't like... finish the, the stuff. Were you supposed to like log in every week and do something? Yeah. Yeah. That was where I stopped. I, no I heard fuck that fuck like... Thing. The lore actually is like essential for understanding the plot of the Automata. No, yes. I I heard that it like doesn't make any sense, and that they wrote it specifically to be obtuse, um, yes. so that you wouldn't understand it. And I was like, ah, eh, okay. Well, it okay, actually, then I won't read it. <laughs> it does tell you about like what happens after the ending I, of the I, I I see. I assumed that's where it was going, right? But and I get like writing something to be like. Like confusing as like a mystery kind of thing, but making it so it's like vague solely so that nobody understands it, you know, rather than being like, oh, I want people to yeah. think, I want people to to reflect on the meaning. It's like, no, I just I just want people bullshit. to be confused. It's like, eh. yeah, I get it. People make that accusation with uh, FromSoft, but like at least with FromSoft. Usually there is like actual lore behind what they're doing. Yeah. Even if like they haven't like released enough of it to like be completely sure about what's going on, there is like a lore board somewhere that like has all of the like lore for, for what they're doing. I don't know. Maybe 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 being confused is the what he's going for. I don't know. It just it didn't really seem like the story was really going anywhere. It's just kind of like it was definitely. It was just playing the hits from here. Well, except it wasn't. That was the whole thing. Is we didn't even get very many of the iconic bosses from here. You know, right? that, that is true. Yeah. Like, I was expecting them to be just playing the hits from here, but that they like deliberately chose not to do that. Like they did a lot of bosses that were like near inspired but original. Yes. This boss, for example, is from Nier. Right. Uh, but it's not even a, actually a boss. And Marks is from Nier, but... Like, the Opera boss? What if that would've been a good raid boss? I was expecting the Opera boss the entire expansion, especially when they played... They played the... I got so trolled, because they played the amusement park music in the overworld. Yeah. Do you remember that? Yeah, yeah, yeah. They played the amusement park music in the overworld, so I thought the opera boss was like coming, like for sure. And then it just never happened. Yeah. And they, we fought like a giant 2P. The compound. Yeah. Which, the 2P thing was inspired by Nier in the sense that, like, it's similar to the way that the robots all, like, do their thing in, uh, the start, at the start of Nier Automata, but. Uh, how they birth Adam. Yes. Yeah. Which is one of the Adam weirdest fuck. scenes. I can't be asked to dodge this shit. <laughs> yeah, yeah. Okay. Kobe, what do you what, what was your reaction the first time you saw that cutscene? I was like, hey, ew. It's gross. I it is one of the weirdest cutscenes in video games in my opinion. Like, the whole thing from start to finish with the robots all, like, doing that thing. Yeah. And I thought, like, what's going on? And then I thought, oh, are we gonna fight a boss? And then the boss was like... Yeah, no. It's... Something. Something else. I might replay this game at some point. It's been a long time. 
like at least four or four or five years. Yeah, it's been a long time for me too. No, oh, maybe and more. Maybe, they... maybe like six years. I have not played it since I was at Saint Olaf. Yeah. Okay. And then this is all Dragon Guard, right? Yeah, I think so. Which I've heard the Dragon Guard 1 and 2 are awful. Yeah, I've heard they're terrible. Yeah, I've heard that as well. I forget how this one works. It rolls in a direction. It rolls in the, yeah. I know I know it goes in a direction, but I was, I was forgetting like how how does the roll? I've heard that, like, in Drakengard 3, in the final boss, they, like, introduce new mechanics that you've never seen before. Well, there's, like, a rhythm game thing at the end of Drakengard yeah, 3 yeah. that's very famous because of how awful it is. Yeah. They put, like, an invisible note behind the credits as the cutscene plays. Right, and you have to play it or else you lose. Yeah. That's just... It's the funniest thing of all time, yeah. I can't lie. Like, that's so Yokotaro that it hurts. Yeah. That game, uh, unfortunately, runs so badly that it's like, people, like, it's like not even worth playing. Like, it's, it, I think nowadays you can emulate it so that it is like a playable experience, but on original hardware, it was like, the performance was so bad that it was like unplayable. That's really funny. Yeah. It um, was I Yoko think it's Taro really... has like a curse of like pouring his heart and soul into the worst video game of all time. <laughs> Even Nier has like the insanely scuffed PC port. And the like Nier one is known for its like bad combat. I don't know if they changed it in um the remake, but I I, I remember I people saying it's like it's like not that great. I I, I mean, it just even, felt like I was mashing buttons. Yeah. I mean, even near Automata, even though it's developed by Platinum, doesn't have like super deep or interesting combat. Yeah, I would say near Automata is like by far the best gameplay wise of any of the games. Oh played, yeah. Though. I mean, because it wasn't made by Yoko Taro. Right. Because <laughs> it was Platinum. Oh. Have you played? Uh, I have, yeah. That I've game. Only played the first one. Have I played Bayonetta before I played Mirror, so I was like, oh, that's from Bayonetta for like half the game. Yeah. Okay, but have you played Wonderful 101? I have actually. I not much, but a little bit. It has one of the most ridiculously over-the-top endings of all time. Yeah, it does. I should play Bandit of 3 at some point, huh? I know it wasn't very popular. Really? Yeah. Well, like, story-wise. I don't know. I, I know at least gay people didn't like it, but... Um, I know Tala didn't like people. it. I know. I don't. I don't know what the general. I will is. not lie. I do not play Panetta for the story. Yeah. Um, Bayonetta One is my favorite Bayonetta game that I played. Though I thought Bayonetta Two was kind of boring as hell. Really? I didn't like the combat nearly as much in Bayonetta Two as Bayonetta One. Cause of, like the witch time stuff. No, I mean witch time is in Bayonetta One. Is but... it? Oh. Of course, it's like the core mechanic I of the forgot. game. Uh, I did not like. Well, the no core one mechanic. Got hit by a building. Wow. Yeah, because this boss is easy. Uh, the core mechanic of Bayonetta is pressing, is holding down the button on your combos to extend your combos through which time, right? Like that is what Bayonetta is about. Right. Um, and that and that exists in Bayonetta One. I should play Double May Cry, actually, because I really like Bayonetta. Oh yeah, you never played that? You should. I have never played a single Double May Cry game. I've played 1 and 3. 
Um, I know that 2 is like considered to be one of the worst games of all time. Yes, I skipped 2 because it's terrible. Um, and it doesn't matter. Uh, 3 was very good. 1 is... Uh, it's not that great, but it's it's alright. It's 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 very short, and you can you can, you can like get through it pretty quick, and it's an enjoyable it's, experience that doesn't stick around too long. And as someone who enjoys game design, I should probably play classic video games yeah, that yeah. are like defined the genre of action RPG. You, you you can really tell that Devil May Cry One was supposed to be a Resident Evil game. Really? Yeah. Yeah, I forgot about that. It was, I think, gonna be like Resident Evil 4 or something, and then... It's actually insane how much influence Resident Evil has had on gaming history that people don't realize. Yeah. I feel like I've heard that trivia before, too. Yeah, it... Come here, you... Alright, here comes the map. It's got the... <laughs> it's got the fixed camera angles that classic Resident Evil has. But for an action game, it gets weird. That does sound very strange. Yeah. Um, well, let's see, the thing is that the actual Resident Evil 4, like, invented the shutter too. Right, yeah. What do you feel... Why is this Red Mage using Magnification but not Embolden? Like, what's going on? Here, come here. If you want to see what the new animation looks like, watch this. You do like a little spin. Oh. Oh, as I die. Oh, oh, oh wait. I have to. Ooh. No. Oh. Yeah. I got fucked because I had. In a release? Yeah. Oh, no, I released. It lasted for the... You released? I wasn't paying attention. Oh my god, you gotta wake up, man. I am probably tired. I don't even think you can watch the fight. Like, where does it put you? <laughs> we got in a release, didn't you? <laughs> release from the instant. Yeah. <laughs> I can't believe I did that by it. You did what's called an outer release. No, not the outer release. Yeah, I can't. I can't even watch. Th does it show like the old arena? No, I'm like at the end. Oh, okay. I'm so stupid. <laughs> <laughs> well, luckily. Part of this is also a thousand. Oh, all right. Fun. Is it gonna go through the whole party this time? Uh oh. Yes. Rip the melees. We're not paying attention. How do you get the boss music though? The boss music was awesome. Oh yeah. Um, one of my favorite moments in Automata is when you go in that little cave below the mall. Yes. And then there's the big field of flat. You did the side quest with in the With third route, where you go down there, after the the big event happens. Yes, I believe I know. What that I means. love that scene. Yes. I did most of the ML stuff. Haha! <laughs> they died, so I get the boss back. <laughs> did 
Did A just hit the <laughs> heal OV? Who hit the heal OV? Man, the thing about Nier is, it's like, if I listen to the music from that game, I literally just start crying. It's so good. But if I listen to the, the, the track, the specific track it plays when Pascal is doing the thing at the last scene, if I play that, that specific track, like, breaks me. Pascal's storyline. It's called uh, Dependency. It, it, it plays when Pascal is, like, in rage mode. Oh. Like, it's right before the end of their storyline. Mm. And it totally breaks me because it's, like, so thematically resonant. We're almost done, Riyadh. <laughs> this mechanic is so awful to read. <laughs> yeah, it is really hard to read. Alright, we're out of here. Oh, I leveled up, thank god. I leveled up as well. Oh, I actually almost leveled up. I almost leveled up twice. Oh, the, the casting top. If only the casting top would drop in a different near raid. Well. I don't. How many of these do I have? I don't have. I'm don't out of have, here. I don't have some of these kiss streams. Have, have a good night, Ryan. See you later. Ugh. Have fun at work. Have, all the, I have, all the have fun. Have doing more story. Yup. I will indeed. Oh, I got the I got the equestrian that I didn't have. All right. I rolled really well on those rolls. Oh my god. I, I just got three. Um. I was I just cleaned do up. Do I have? I don't have one of these hair. I don't have one of these hair. Can you can you pass on modernistic scanning for style? Oh yeah, I, I pass. Sweet. Hey. Hey, nice. Yeah, I I, I have a feeling you're not gonna like that hairstyle though. I mean, I haven't judged my hairstyle since ARR, so. Well, can you can you market Alliance Raider Equestrians? Maybe. Maybe it's maybe you can. I it thought, says I other. You could. No, it, it doesn't say it doesn't say not marketable. Oh well, that makes it a lot. I was always thinking like if they ever added a mount, or, or like a achievement for collecting all the Equestrian rolls, like it would suck. Oh, yeah, no. There's just too many. Like, no shot. What's the... It's, um, Alchemist is the one that you use to craft them, right? Like, from uh, the tattered copies? Yeah, Alchemist. I want to get to Solution 9 before I log off. It might be a while. Not solution nine. I want to get to one of the new zones. Oh yeah, yeah, I'm gonna go hop into and see if it. I think I think we're about to go into Shalawani. Yeah. Um, let me see. Is this marketable? Look we'll a little bit. Just like constantly having to tell people not to call her dog server. That is marketable. Oh, it's so cheap. I should have just bought all these. Oh, also the head of reason is dead. Yeah, that was wild. I didn't realize that could happen, but... That, that is kind of sad. Like, yeah, you just have your dead brother, like, chained to you for the rest of your life. Yeah. That actually makes it way sadder in the solo duty when he tries to do their combo attack. Yeah. And then forgets, and then, like, for, he, like, forgot. But they can't do it anymore. I thought, I mean, at the time I was like, oh, well, that's funny, he's asleep, so he can't do the combo. No, but... bro's dead. But at least we got, to, we got to fight him in his prime, right? We did, but it was like a ghost version. Yeah. But he did, he did, he got to, I thought it was a clever little touch, but he got to do his combo attack that he couldn't do the first time. Yeah. I do think it's cute that, like, uh... Mukumat and Koana are like the heads of reason and resolve, respectively. Yeah. Well, I thought it was a little funny that 
they made this huge deal about how strong everyone was compared to Wook Lamont and that she was like super weak and then she just like solos. Yeah. She just like solos Makul Jada and then like is able to tank like her dad in his prime. Right. So it's like, oh, she kind of just she... powered up. Yeah, I guess she just like got stronger. Yeah. <laughs> Though it's heavily implied that the only reason she was able to beat her dad was because of us, right? So, like, or not just us, but like, because of Evan was with her. Because that's, like, why her brother wasn't able to beat him, is because he tried to do it by himself. Yeah, right. Did you hear that that music track? Like, when they were, when she was, like, she finished her speech, and, like, a gospel choir came in to yeah. sing the Dodge Shell theme? I was like, what? It's <laughs> good shit. Yeah. Oh, this looks like an important guy scene. Oh. I'm I've, I'm just at the part where we'll come in is like walking around talking to all the people that we've met. Yeah, I'm a little ahead of you. Okay, my machine is now level 93, so I can play the next mode. I basically want Machinist to be leveled up a bit so I can not have too much pain once my Scholar maxes and then I just have to start accepting quests on Machinist if I yeah. want to XP from the quest lines. For sure. <laughs> she opens every conversation by telling them to just call her book with them. Yeah. So they're just like talking around to the fact that that this dude is her biological dad. I mean, is the person in the, in the background your mom or your sibling? That's my sibling. I see. I couldn't tell. Michael Jaja did nothing wrong. That's what I'm gonna say. Yeah. That's chaotic. No, it's not the Allianz. They specifically said it wasn't the Allianz. Like, when we got here, yeah. Alize was like, is this the Allianz? Like, she said, don't tell me that's the Allianz. And Afeno was like, I don't think it's the Allianz. No, it's a misdirect. No. It's a misdirect. It is the Allianz. I don't know. I see a lot of glowy stuff. I just... does.
Okay, welcome back. Are you done talking to every single human being that you saw for the entire expansion? <laughs> yeah, she really does. Well, I hope you didn't rush on our account. No, we did not. <laughs> Seem feels like it should have been voiced. There's been a couple of scenes that I thought this is weird that this isn't voiced. Yeah. Okay, what do you what do you think of what do you think of the bit? The bit where the guy the guy is like says something weird and then gets like freaked out about it and then immediately stops being freaked out um i don't know incredibly incredibly repetitive bit it's a very repetitive bit <laughs> i feel like as long as they're going to use that as their bit they have to voice it every single time there's been like two times when like they they did the bit but they didn't voice the cutscene so i'm like this is not funny if it's not yeah. voiced. like the whole <laughs> point is that it needs to be voiced yeah i agree So she just gives us, she just gives us, like, the pass to go to the other continent, alright. What the hell? Okay. So, clearly we're going to refuse what Clement's offer, like, in some, in some way, right? Like, uh, to work with her? Yeah, I mean. Oh boy, okay. Oh boy, is there big, is there big events happening? There's, there's some big events happening. Is Solution 9 finally attacking? I don't know, you'll see. That's it. Like, cagey about it. Now that the Honda's succession is over, though, they don't have any reason not to tell her, right? Okay, this is what I thought was going to happen. We're going to go with Aaronville. This, like, city guard armor is cool. So are we just going... We're just going with Aaronville? I think so. Huh. We're just kind of going, like, just cause. Yeah. Well, I mean, adventure. Yeah. That's just, like, that. they can always fall back on that right. when they want to get you somewhere. Then? I'm looking forward to like a one on one with Aaronville because he hasn't had a, a ton of focus so far. It's all been very much in the background yeah. as Wilkelmet is doing things, which is yeah. fine with me. If if Wilkelmet is like becoming more of a static character, which is fine, I have no problem with 
her development stopping here. This seems like the natural place for, you know. This seems like the natural place for Will Clement to, like, start being more of a static character. Yeah. Oh, this is already a banger. Oh yeah, they said that the first area is like really on good. On the far right? side of that great bridge unfolded the wilds of Shaloni, where the sun guides in the Shetona tongue. <laughs> oh, this is the great music for this. Sure, with its blazing rays scorching the land and hardening its inhabitants. But sweeping change had come to the arid the expanse hell, we'll, 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 when beneath its like red crust, so hard and vast deposits of ceruleum were discovered. <laughs> Embracing this opportunity, Vau Kona supporters hurtle on, driven by dreams of a future illuminated by blue flame. You think we're gonna meet the Wallachy from the Blue Mage quest? Journey continues. Our path Are they from Turo? Yeah, the they're supposed to be. Each length of track declaration of hope uh unless yeah, the probably. blue mage guy just made everything up which would kind of be in character well no but like we meet the wallachy do we like this their society like in uh my home we meet Solani. like the people like the Sereni. tribe in uh it would be a long journey in it's like settled in near the like um the cerulean vein right because that's like the whole storyline oh yeah I think it's interesting how. Did you catch the bit about how they like briefly mentioned that the other two headed Mamul Jav that fell, one of them was like the boss of Wander's Palace? Yeah, yeah, yeah. Wander's Palace hard. I, I, I heard the name. I didn't know which guy it was. Yeah, yeah. It's the it's the boss. I looked it up. It's the boss of Wander's Palace hard. And that they said that was the other. Mount that was Shabu. the guy who went to, yeah, he was the double, the two-headed one who went to Erzea and then lost there. So I like, see. we like, kind of killed there. He he went, he was also from Mamook and he went to like. Yes, he went to like conquer. Okay. There's a whole lore thing about it. So like he, I read the I read his article on the wiki. He he went basically, he went to Erzea to like conquer. But he encountered more resistance than he expected because Arzans are not pushovers. Yeah. And then, um, he like made like a tribe of Mamul Jaw, like a cult around him. Okay. I got the Don Trelacestrian roll. Nice. So how many quests are there before between me and the and the end of or and the beginning of the area? Oh you're very close. Okay. There's like one or two cutscenes. But they're like important cutscenes. Yes. Uh oh. It's the guy. <laughs> Dude, the way he just like Chad strides in. Yeah, he does. Thing. There's like it's like Did diner Wilma... music playing in this zone. Did Wolfman not like not secure the tablets? Like what is going on? <laughs> Did he take like koanas? Yeah, that's what I was wondering. I was like, where do you get all these? He might have just stole them from Koana or something. But his attendant isn't with him. So... He might be the 97 trial. Or 99 trial. Zeralja? Yeah. Maybe. I, I I'm starting to think he could be the the final boss, the, like antagonist antagonist. I feel like if if they like real. if they like power him up somehow, you know. 
Like he gets feels... some kind of magic power and then becomes like a no, big I guy. No, could, I could absolutely see him getting some magic power and becoming a big guy. Yeah. But I think it might be the 99 trial, not the 100 trial. Yeah, maybe. Because usually... Usually the pattern is that... They introduce the main villain, like the, the final trial, they introduce like halfway through the expansion. So I guess that was only the case with Anne Walker and Matena. Yeah, Anne um, Silk showed up pretty early. What about... Well, and I guess, like, the start of Stormblood, you see, like... Shinryu. Yeah, you see Shinryu, like, right there, but then, like... It's, like, in the background for the rest of it. Yeah. With Heaven Sword, it was pretty obvious who the villain was the whole time. Uh-oh. Got the key. With Heaven's Word, it's interesting because, like, the patch quests are kind of actually the main quest. Yeah. Like, Nidhogg makes way more sense as, like, a final, final boss than... Yeah, than Burden. Oh, shit. Doing the evil laugh. All right. Don't you think that cutscene should have been voiced? Yeah, definitely. All right. So he's straight up just a villain. I guess we should have seen it coming because Kryl had the like. Kryl should have been should have spoken up more about it though. To be honest. About what? Oh shit. Kryl. Kryl saw his, like, thoughts with the Echo. Like, yeah. if, she knew, if she knew that he had it in him to, like, betray everyone, she should have, like, you know, said something maybe to the Dawn Servant. Alright, so he murked, he murked Surreal Jaw. I don't think he's dead. I think he's coming. He'll be back later. Sure. He, but, he didn't die, die, right? He just fell. You know, which is yes. classic. Habeas corpus. Right. Um, making making deals for ultimate power with entities uh, does not usually end well for the characters that make deals for the ultimate power. So did, did he say that he was the one who... Oh my god, how do you pronounce this? Keheni Heian Mewi. Uh, did he say that he was the one who wrote the letter to Cryo's grandfather? I did not... I must... I don't know if I was reading closely enough to catch that. Here, I can rewatch the cutscene. If you go to... you can set a, a tab in your chat log to be story, and then you can replay the... Uh, you can scroll up as, like, a log of, of the cutscene. Oh yeah, here, here. All right, all right, all right. He said, two decades ago, your father bade me transcribe a letter to a scholar across the salt, petitioning the study of this place. What he discovered was something the Nostra were feared enough to see away forever. Oh, okay, so they got the keystones from Tonkwa. Yeah, they, that's why they killed him.
So, do you think that the, the entity in the Golden City is going to be actually evil, or just... I don't... I mean, they don't seem evil. I mean, are they just that Lollafell that we saw in the cussing? I don't know. No, that's probably... That's probably Kryle's grandpa, right? Like, the I feel like he's probably in there, you know? Yeah, probably. For some reason. What if the Golden City is literally, like, cyberspace? Maybe. And that's why everyone lives forever, because they all uploaded their consciousness to the, to the computer. There's another underwater zone here. I'm kind of thinking either the entity in the Golden City is going to be the level 100 trial, or it's going to be like our ally. Probably the second one. Yeah, I think it'll be a an interesting character at the least. Okay, but what's with the deal with the trailer having the cutscene where the Solution 9 guys are all like attacking? attacking? Us? I, it'll probably happen later, I don't know. Oh. This area is... I immediately saw it and thought New Vegas. <laughs> yeah. It looks like Arizona. There's a... Is it weird to anyone else that there's like two lush forest biomes and two like desert biomes in this expansion? What's the other desert biome? This one. This one and the um, the place where the Pelo Pelo are. It's like a high desert. Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. That's true. Okay, this is literally like a western. It is, yeah. I guess they showed that in the trailer, didn't they? Mm hmm. Oh, because it's like the railroads. Yeah. Yeah, 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 yeah. So it's literally like just like a western. Okay. I'm running around picking Give up basic currents. Give me a six-shooter machinist weapon, please. <laughs> I would, like, never take it off if they gave me a revolver. It'll walk into the... Walk into the saloon as your machinist. Too bad we'll not stop you to complain about the train. <laughs> So, what was that thing they didn't want us to see on the poster? Do you remember on the loading screen at FanFest when they revealed the zone? They were like, secret! And there was a big section of sky that was blocked out. I did not watch FanFest. Well, and the loading screen that they showed off for this zone, they blocked off a huge section of it and said, spoilers! Like there was something like hidden in the background of the zone, but there's there's nothing. So maybe it'll maybe it'll show up during the MSQ or something. Yeah, it could be. Like a big big thing will pop out of the ground or something. Well, wait, I never actually flew up to the top of that pillar in uh, the underground forest zone. Oh yeah. Or be able to do that after I finish I didn't unlock a uh, line. This music feels kind of an anachronistic for the like vibe of the zone. It's 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 Western music. It feels too like in the future. Yeah. It sounds like FF15 music. But the Ronik, Aaron, the Ronik.
So like, in this zone is there just wind constantly blowing sand into everyone's face all the time? <laughs> I think it's just Gale's weather right now. But it has not been, it's only been Gale since I've gotten here. I'm sure they have multiple withers, but... Alright, I'm going to teleport over to the, uh... To, to Yucktail and fly up to the top of the tower and see what's there. Have we gone to 96 yet? No, we're still 95. 95 on this skin? Okay. Probably gonna be soon, I would imagine. I mean, yeah, probably. Okay, what the hell is up here? There's a Vista. Oh, really? Oh, there's like a little... Little civilization over here. There's a vista. I was hoping there'd be a mob, but there's not. Maybe something spawns up here. This is called Lua... Lua Tina Nya Wawas... Wawasa... Wawasa... Lua Tani Nya Wawasa... Ah, shit. Lua Tani Nya... Ah, it went away. The Wateni Nyawasa. Oh shit, wait. I forgot. I didn't... I did not register the Aether right before I left. Uh oh. Amateur mistake. Um... Yeah, no, that's not... Um... Did... There's dinosaurs oh. here? I think they should have in the trailers, right? I don't know. There's like dinosaur enemies running around. Wild West with dinosaurs. Weirdly enough, I feel like I've seen that happen before. Really? I, um... Where's the... Where's the, uh... Um... Tumbleweed. There has to be like a tumbleweed enemy, right? There should be. Though, the funny part is t tumbleweed are not native. To the US. Okay, so... Zoctorol is also, like, under the control of Toral, right? Uh... Like, they're part know. of Toriel, right? I don't know if they're... I think they're... Or Toriel. I don't know if they are. Okay. Well, I guess we'll find out sure. soon. Well, because, like, Aaronville is like, oh yeah, we can go to my the place where I was born. Shock to all. Shock to all. Yes. It is like yours. Whoa. That seemed like an alligator. The bridge? The bridge, I don't trust it. Alligans are. If an alligator built a bridge, it would probably try to kill you. <laughs> oh, they put another spot on this map I can't get until I can fly. That's me. Sit down. 
Yeah, they so would you... invent a br they'd invent a bridge that could walk. <laughs> they had feelings. Bridge bridge. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, make a bridge that has feelings just so it can feel bad about itself. Yeah, they would create a bridge that feels pain when people drive on it. <laughs> Cactus is cheeked up. Noble tender? Oh, that cactus is cheeked up. Like, I like, oh my I really, goodness. I really like how they wanted I like the sabotage. Yeah. You see the crazy cactus here, Solo? No, I'm, I'm still doing the intro cut piece. Yeah. Oh, that would be great. I'm horrified, but... You know, yeah, but great. But great. They're always terrible. Yeah. Remember the... They do, they do whatever the is, like, the worst like, decision. motorcycles that they created to enforce traffic violations? Yeah. Why? What was up with that? Wait, the people here are actually holding big guns. Are they really? Oh. Oh, have you not done the cutscenes? No, not yet. Two people literally just walked out of a saloon holding giant rifles. <laughs> That's a scary looking bison. Yeah, I like the bison. I bet they can push their f yeah. Wait, this is the guy that Jackham said was like the most Ryuig pilled person. Oh really? Is I'm looking forward to it. Aaronville is a gleaner. What is it? So he like picks up the grain after it's been harvested? He well he works with animals. Okay. He and collects he animals. collects animals and collects plants and things for Charlene research. Oh. Works for Charlene. He works for Charlemagne, that's correct. Mm -hmm. Those guys kind of suck. Only a little. Only a little. I mean, as a graduate student, I get to give them more equal points. <laughs> Count. There's a saloon. Look at this. Look at the objects, will you? Wow. This is crazy. Don't, don't take your bike inside here. I'm driving my motorcycle around Stop inside the building. Stop taking your motorcycle inside the building. <laughs> That's Today is literally Ryuichi. Like, zero. There's like zero difference. Yeah. Really? Oh. 
There is a tumbleweed enemy. Disguise themselves as tumbleweeds. Yeah, they disguise themselves as tumbleweeds. sun coming out I feel like if it was actually permanently windy people would be like dressed for that you're right I should respect it for who it is yeah exactly where's the beach <laughs> that's true they, they don't know what that is. They either. don't know what that is, and also they're extremely suspicious of you now that you've brought it up. Yeah, they probably push you in the pool. <laughs> we brought some oranges to the guard. This is the first time they've been sold there. Push them straight in the hole. Yeah. <laughs> they didn't right. trust him. Into the hole. <laughs> I got all the aether currents. So is this one not split in half? No, it's not split in half. You can just drive around it. Is that like a normal thing? No, it's not. Normally they only do two split zones. This expansion had three. Oh, uh, okay. Okay, so we got these weird hermit crabs. Okay. We have wild flying papotos. Yeah. They're literally just like potatoes? Yeah, they are. You saw the tumbleweed crabs? Yes. Yeah. Yes, they did the tumbleweed. Well, Where's well. the rails? It's become a proper town. Wait, aren't aren't rails a Garlean thing, not like a Charlean thing? I thought so, but I don't know. Oh, here's a hunt enemy. Hey! My intermediate hunt is calm. I looked up the wiki on Hunt now, and it said the B ranks give a quote pitiful amount of experience. <laughs> yeah, they don't give much. Some sort of trouble. Is that Ryuji? Ryuji from Home 5. What are you doing? Uh oh. His name's Ryuji. I'm talking to you, you old bastard. Gotta be cowboys here. Why does he have the Eden Morn earrings? He did not kill that boss. <laughs> His ass did not fight Cloud of Darkness. Maybe For the last did. time, the investigation is closed. Like, There's no cool. refuting the evidence. It's funny now. Everybody here has like like cowboy accents instead of like Mesoamerican accents. Yeah. I don't give a shit about your evidence, you lying scum. You release my friends, or I'll make you wish you had. In Japanese, in Japanese they're always speaking like Yakuza. <sighs> Let me oh, yeah. remind you who the scum is here. Your friends, who had the temerity to point their firearms at me, the deputy chief He's also of the wearing Dustwatch. the Alliance gear, and I know he was not on the front lines of the Gimlet Dark. And after taking them into custody, <laughs> what should we discover? But in yeah, proof they're taking they gear from instances larceny. they did not help with. It's like stolen valor. Yeah. Gonna see someone like riding around a Kodani horse and like, I know I did not see your ass on yeah, the front lines. Yeah, you were not on front lines. They committed larceny. Oh no. They will not be released until they've paid for I their crimes. I forgot what larceny is. I forget the difference. Uh, I'd heard the peacekeaping force had been formed to deal with growing lawlessness. Mm -hmm. Seems the situation is bad indeed. Violent. Robbery is our robbery is when the person is uh, 
Robbery is when you steal from them, like, at gunpoint. Robbery is... Burglary armed? is when you break in. Burglary is breaking in. Can you simply hear me or not? No. Oh, okay. Still kicking up a fuss, eh? Sounds like poor Zekua needs his bottle. Sure and I think, like, the difference between, like, larceny and grand larceny is just the value of whatever was stole. <laughs> They're all laughing at him. Oh, no. Treat me like a child, will you? My friends haven't done anything wrong, damn it! They've been framed! There's a guy here doing like an escort mission. <sighs> oh, stubborn little runt. That's probably part of the MSQ. Uh, listen here, Zekoa. If you want to be treated like an adult, then you'd yeah, best you got comport that made yourself me gasp like one. When I saw that it. means respecting the rule of law. Order may be precarious here in Shaloni, but it Shaloni can be had how you if each it? man does the right thing. And for those what that Bologna? don't, well, they have to Actually, to isn't the Shaloni watch. the name of a Native American tribe? Is it really? I don't know. I don't think it's spelled like that, though. Now, run along and think before you cast aspersions cast next time. Spurs. He's an American accent, like a like a thick American like a accent. Thick American accent. Yeah. Think before you cast aspersions next time. Next that kind of time you hurt cool. my feelings. I, like I have to say, I I enjoy this. Fine. Dakota Part Seven is my That's favorite how it's part be. because of how American. It's like it's, it's square it's fingers. It's super fun. Yeah. Your sibling is base. Celeste is your base. <laughs> Thanks a lot. Oh, he's gonna draw his gun and kill him. I oh, if I were you. I wouldn't if I Is that a Stinian? Oh, <gasps> Stinian! What is he doing here? How did you become a cowboy so fast? Oh my god, he's been gone for the entire. He showed up at the beginning, was fighting a guy, and he said, okay, guys, see you later, and dipped for the entire story. He's been having cowboy and adventures. And that's so funny. He's on the cowboy ranch. There's a time to fight and a time to withdraw. Cowboy adventures. That's I mean, him. it's kind of it's now. It kind of fits his character. Yeah, it does fit his character. That's awesome. What? All right, I'm looking at the Nepali tenders. Hey. Dang. What are you doing, Zakawa? You better not be stirring up trouble. Wahute, you sack of Ronek shit! This ain't over! Oh, you hear me? Are. The sack of Ronek shit. Oh god, he was fast. Look at him. Wait, is this. What if it's Sidney who started speaking oh, with a cowboy accent? That about. <laughs> there are a lot of Makoni out here. I, Nothing I need, that need concern I need you, sir. To, like, pick Zekola up the accent. Is simply yeah. struggling to come to terms with the low character of his friends. But for good measure, I'll have the men keep an eye on him. Yes, you do that. Now, if you'll excuse me, I'll go make my rounds. I wonder if we're getting the... I don't know. Like what? Culture. Yeah. Stanian. Stanian, he's got his big spear. He's got his big spear, which is still covered in dragon blood. <laughs> he has not washed it. He has not cleaned it. Maybe I wasn't expected to see your faces among the crowd. Sidian stabbed you. Talk is rife. There's a new dawn servant. Look at your found it then. To get the golden all city. Out of shots. Yeah. <laughs> oh, is he wearing eye shadow? Nice. Aye. The contest is over. And as I needed to return home to Yasulani, I offered to show our friends some of Shakturan. What brings you north? Nothing in particular. Just seeing what there is to see. This tone shift is like... Yeah. So we go from like, the right of succession to now we're like, me in a western, like, duel. drama. Yeah. To be able to enjoy a comfortable life on the road for the foreseeable future. This dude is like, so really g in every way possible. But for now, I shall be moving on. Oh, by the way. I recommend you try the Saba tender. They may not look it. They're surprisingly delicious.
but we do Oh no, what did he eat? See, that's what I was thinking. I was thinking he was just like out in the wild and he saw one and he's like, I wonder what you taste. Yeah, he probably just ate a wild one. Yeah. His tongue can handle it. Wings, you get wings. Oh, okay. Yeah, it's not an animal this time. Uh, <laughs> yeah. I might log off pretty soon since I actually yeah. have work tomorrow. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Control try a car. They really just made <laughs> triple triad, man. They really made like they really just made like two expansions, like two mini expansions. Yeah, they kind of did. I mean, I'm down. I'm down for it. Like they need to just shake up their formula for a long time. Okay. I don't. I I already can see people complaining about it, but yeah, it's way better to deliberately discontinue. Like if you have two different ideas that you want to do at the same time. It's way better to deliberately, like, clearly, like, denotate that they're separate experiences and not to, like, try to do both at once and then fail at both, right? Yeah, yeah. It's, it's way better to, like, just clearly say, like, now we're doing something different. For sure. This guy was a chump. Yeah, oh, he's using the Blue Mage cards. That's interesting. Looks like it's that like, mont beast bison thing that was earlier. Yeah. yeah. You, know, you know what the best part of this, this story is? Bakul Jaja's not here. Yeah, he's gone. There's no more Bakul Jaja. What? They kind of wrote him out. No! No, my president. <laughs> Stand down, Mr. President. <laughs> My hero. I would like to see like a Trumpism movement for Bakul Jaja. <laughs> You're like, he's my president. He's secretly been president this entire time. Yeah. Now he does the he he does the Ashen mask reveal. <laughs> he's an ass man. Why would the ass he possess? Why would the that, you know what? Why would ass he possess anybody? It doesn't make more yeah. sense for them to possess Bakul Jaja than anybody else, you know? Yeah. There's diving in this zone. There is diving, yeah, it's not in the lake. Find the little canyon area? Yeah. Well, I'm getting all the Aether cards. Yeah, there's one in there.
really flat zones like this can risk being kind of boring, so I'm glad they're like yeah. mixing up the terrain. Seems like there's a lot more stuff on the western part of the map than on the eastern. Yeah. Arendelle is from Shaloni? He's, he's from the Shitona tribe. I'm not sure. Ooh, the top eighth right is a totally not Native American camp. Yeah. It's fine. Oh, we mentioned the Wallachie. Wallachie are also very, like, Native American coded. Yeah. Actually, yeah, it wouldn't surprise me at all if they live here, because this is the... Um, this is a very similar environment to the place in, like, Finland where they live. Yeah. I think I saw some of the enemies reference Cerulean. The guy who has the necromancer flare. Oh, I, I I'd like to get that one at some point. Just, I would say it's a pain. I would say I'll help you, but <laughs> yeah, you cannot. Um, honestly, the number one thing that discourages me from doing it is crashing and DCing, because you just lose like a twelve-hour run. That's just so insane. Yeah, it's ridiculous. And it's like entirely out of your control. And it's not like I crash or DC that often, but like occasionally it'll happen, you know? Well, didn't it? Aren't you scared because it, it's what happened to um, Tig? It's happened to Tig. It's happened to me while doing Heaven on High. Oof. How far did you? How far were you on? I was on like high? sixty or seventy. Ah, okay. 
That's not that. Bad. I mean, that's still like many hours. I, what discourages me from doing it is just like I'd have to listen to a podcast to like even begin to like approach that, right? Yeah. And if I'm listening to a podcast, I'm not focusing as much. So it, yep. if I'm not focusing as much, I am more likely to get randomly killed by a trap. Yeah. But can't you like? Isn't in Palace of the Dead you actually like know? The oh, sorry. I just queued us on accident. I meant... Oh fine. shit! Sorry. <laughs> No, that's crazy. Hopefully. I haven't done this really yet. <laughs> I wasn't even thinking. I, I forgot we were in a party. We're both on Scholar. Yeah. Oh, we can't get the new trap because your Scholar is tiny. Ah, sorry. Okay. Oh. We really just queued Double Scholar. We did, yeah. Dulce said, do you want to help me with Zeramis? And I ended up here anyway. I don't think he was talking about Zeramis normal. Uh, probably not. If he needs help with that, I have questions. Zeramis X, though. Uh, you want to change first? Okay, yeah. Oh, it's 20 seconds now? Oh my god. Yep. Oh, I forgot to put Biolysis up. I am the worst scholar of all time. Uh, emergency tactics, emergency tactics. Yeah, emergency tactics. Oh! Okay, we're good. Oh, oh no, the tank. The tank. Oh good. my god. We're Two fine. scholars. Two scholars. When I um, when I first did this, I let the tank die from that mechanic. Mm -hmm. That realizing it. There is the one minute chain strike. I should probably not use all of my Aether Cloak on Energy Drain. Nah, it's fine. <laughs> the fairy will heal up enough, frankly. Remember that, um, Remember that, uh, the fairy is literally your strongest potency heal. Yeah. I always, I always forget to use Dissipation. I only use it during Burst, pretty much. Meteor's mechanic in no. normal? Uh, maybe? I'm not sure. But I have a spread. I have a spread. Oh, we do. That's like hit right now. It's just a uh, like yeah, it's just a, like a line. That's easy. It gives us. It probably just one shot, you know.
Apparently nobody got grabbed. Are you gonna put up the soil? Oh yeah, I got it. Gauge is just wasted if I don't use it. You're a very correct. Wait, how long has energy drain not restored mana? I think as I I think it didn't restore mana in Endwalker. Oh man, alright. Um, in my mind it still restores mana. <laughs> Makaya gaslit me into thinking that it never restored mana. No, it did. Yeah, I'm like 99% sure it did. Viper, if you don't LB, I'm going to do it. Yeah. There it is. I haven't seen what it looks like. Sorry for dragging you into that. Hey, I leveled up. Oh. Wait, I got oh, quite a lot of experience from that, actually. I think they might have buffed the XP. But is yeah, it, no. Is it because it was Zeramis and not, like, Titan Hard? Because I got, yeah. like, maybe... I got a six and a half <laughs> million experience. Yeah, I got a lot. I'm now 97. Wow, you're ready for the next dungeon. Yeah, I might switch to Machinist. Alright, let me disband before I accidentally do that again. Yeah, I'm not going to that. Yeah, 
yeah, I'm getting tired. Isn't it like 3 a.m. for you? It's 12.45. Uh, and I'm, I'm off like the rest of the week, so I'm chilling. Do that for the expansion? Yep. That's fun. Yeah. <laughs> okay. All right. See ya. See you later. Yeah. Alrighty, stream. I'm gonna stop here for now. I am tired, so 